Hi everyone, this is David and I recently did this video, Open AI Whisper is available on Subtitle Lady 3.6.7 Beta and I need help to get it to work. Now unfortunately, I did not get anybody to uh, show me how it works, but funny enough, it's now working inside uh, Subtitle Edit. Uh, the no text found error is no longer available and I had some comments. Please do let us know when you get a solution. Uh, show us we install whisper most of us don't know how to install it let us okay so uh what i did or what i think i did first of all uh you may need to download the latest version of subtitle edit beta because it's still in beta version uh, to test it out next up uh, i believe you'll need to download python uh, from this download uh, it's just an installation on windows and I'm specifically speaking about people on Windows. Uh, I don't know people who are running on Ubuntu or Linux, uh, how you install those things on code or whatever. But uh, first of all, get the latest version, subtitle edit beta, download it. I already have it and I've already extracted it right inside here. And then once you do that, you go to this link. I'll leave the links below. So one, you download Python if you don't have it download and install python it's pretty simple just follow on screen prompts etc pretty simple so next up uh we do a pip install and everything is just if i click on this link here uh it opens to this how to install pip manage python packages on windows so you just follow what they're writing here so you just press on windows x then run and then type i think cmd you can actually skip all these uh uh sorry cmd dot exe and then follow what uh they're they're doing here so for example you copy this command put it in there and then press on enter if you already have pap installed you get this so uh you get this if you don't have it installed you can use this so installing pip on windows you do this just copy this and then do that then python get pip it's pretty simple uh straightforward uh and then you can verify etc and then you'll see all these things if you have uh, everything installed it's pretty straightforward now finally you'll need to install whisper via command line and it's still the same way for example if you just do cmd command prompt and then from here you just come and copy this url if you don't have uh, uh whisper installed and then paste it right there uh, i should be should go up from this pip install git plus uh, sorry git plus https etc in that link and then now from this end you just press on enter if you don't already have uh whisper installed and you're going to install now it may or may not work then if it doesn't work then if you're on windows you probably need to install git for windows uh that will probably work if you get an error while installing whisper now i think that is what i did and then Today, it's the 20th of October 20, uh, 2022, it's around 1.47 a.m. I decided to download the latest version of uh, Subtitle Edit. And then, luckily, I ran Whisper and it worked. Now, this is a first look of how it's working. Uh, this is Subtitle Edit 3.6.8 beta. It should actually be 7. Uh, but let's just double click on this. It's the beta file, not the installation file, and then let's go to video, open video file, and then we'll just look for an audio file. A short one. Uh, just a few things that I'd like us probably to mention as well, uh, if you care to listen. Uh, so uh, this is uh, the GitHub repository for OpenAI, Whisper, and all that. And there are a couple of things you can read here. You can go to the blog, which is here, and it tells you all the things that you need to know about it. So uh, it approaches human level robustness and accuracy on English speech recognition. So you can s scroll down and you see that it was trained on 680,000 
hours of multilingual and multitask supervised data collected from the web. So uh, you'll see a bunch of things here, but let's scroll down. Uh, of importance probably here is the available models and languages. So there are five model sizes, four with English only versions, offering speed and accuracy trade-offs. Below are the names of the available models and the approximate memory requirements and relative speed. So you'll see the size of the model, either tiny, base, small, medium, large. And then we have the parameters here. We have the size 38 MB, 74, 244 MB, 769 MB, and 1.5 GB or 1550 megabytes. Now for the English only model, we have the different options available. We have tiny.en, base.en, small.en, medium.en. The large version doesn't apply. So depending on the model that you use, you get better results. So if we go to the multilingual, we have the tiny, base, small, medium, large. So uh, the required VRAM uh, is 1 GB, uh, roughly 1 GB, about 1 GB for the base, uh, 2 GB for the small, for the medium, 5 GB, for the large, uh, about uh, 10 GB. And then you'll see the relative speed. The tiny version, if you choose the tiny model, it's 32 times faster than the large model. So what it means is that it's faster, but I'll tell you for free, the VUSK and Caldi models uh, that are available already inside Subtitle Edit are way better and faster than uh, the uh, Whisper. And the configuration works way better, especially in creating subtitles using the VUSK. But the transcript with Whisper is really, really good, depending on the, uh, on the model that you use. So uh, we can read again for English only applications, that is the .en models tend to perform better especially for tiny.en and base.en models, we observed that the difference become less significant for the small.en and medium.en models. So uh, basically put, this is what they're saying in all this, but uh, that is what you need to know. The tiny model is a little bit faster. If you're interested in creating subtitles faster or even getting transcripts faster, etc and the base model uh, per se. As you go on uh, small and medium, the differences are not that huge. So let's go back to subtitle edit and let's begin by adding uh, our file here, testing, open that particular audio file. It's available for us here. Now, uh, the, also, uh, the other thing I need to mention is that Whisper seems to be GPU intensive. That is the graphics processing unit or the fans will kick in of your laptop or your computer. So let's click on video, audio to text Whisper, and once you've already installed based on what we've talked about, uh, you get this. Uh, the uh, the folks, uh, Nicolaj, the guy that created Subtitle Edit has gone on and created this awesome interface uh, where you can actually just come choose a model or the language that you want. Let's say English, and then you can come here, look at the model that you want. If you don't have them already, click on this uh, three dots here, and you can actually just download them from this section uh, to save you a lot of hassle in terms of uh, downloading, adding them to the, mo the models folder ATC. And you can always open the models folder to see the different uh, models that you have available uh, for you. So uh, we've already selected our languages English and then the model that we choose, let's say we go with base.en. Now use post-processing, line merge, fixed casing, punctuation, and more. As I've mentioned, this is a little bit graphic intensive, not like the VSK models, and it's taking a longer time. And also, you don't see the like how many minutes are remaining inside this particular uh, section of subtitle edit. And as I mentioned, this is still in the experimental phase. So let's click on generate. So it's extracting the audio and then I was transcribing the audio. Now, you'll notice that in that video that I mentioned, I used to get an error we no longer get the error. The error is no longer available. It's transcribing audio. My fans have kicked in. So I already know it's working. And I don't know how long it's taking for like a two minute, 30 second video clip. Uh, maybe unless somebody tries to guess, probably the same time as the, as the particular uh, audio, or maybe like a minute or so. 
But I've noticed people say that uh, when you use it to transcribe, especially when you use uh, the bigger models, it's taking a really, really long time. For example, like a one hour audio is taking like three hours, four hours, but the quality is impeccable. Uh, I've also seen people mention that it's also doing away or leaving out filler words like ahs and ums, uh, you know, and so on and so forth. Uh, in subtitle edit, I've noticed that it's more or less like putting the subtitles as blocks, like huge blocks. Uh, y you know, the way the VSK models work is that you have better and, and clearer defined subtitles per se. Uh, with Whisper, uh, I hope that this is going to change. Maybe it's a setting in subtitle edit, probably that needs to be fixed or maybe some code to be written so that uh, a constraint is applied, maybe based on the characters uh, per line that you have for the particular uh, uh, profile that you're using. Maybe that can work, uh, hopefully. Uh, but maybe as we're still uh, checking out the transcribing audio to text, maybe the folk, uh, Nicolaj can actually create a transcription application that is based entirely on Whisper. I think it would it would really be awesome if that actually happened uh, just for transcription, nothing else. And also maybe transcription and translation because Whisper supports translating like other languages into English. So for example, if you have a Swahili uh, transcript, you can automatically translate it to English. So uh, that would be awesome. I've not seen it going the other way around, but from one language into English, I believe it's supported in Whisper, uh, and I've seen people use this uh, uh, and try and compare uh, on different uh, particular applications that it has been used in. Uh, but as you can notice, it's already now two minutes into it. So it's probably taking the same amount of time that is probably for the base model as the length of that particular audio. With the fans kicked in, and I believe the GPU must uh, be running uh, for this to be working but uh, the quality of the transcript that we get is really really good so hopefully it's going to be done in a few just hopefully uh, so that we see if the quality that we get uh, is probably something that we can work with so let's just give it a couple of most okay so it's done so it's probably taking about the same time as the length of the audio so You'll notice that by default, uh, it starts way, way early. You can already see uh, the amount of text is it's populating right here. Uh, if it was uh, the VSK models, it would be a little bit different, uh, but it's not so bad. So let's like play this and listen. Hi everyone, this is David and this is a clarification. Uh, I did this video on how to export SRT subtitles in DaVinci Resolve. And unfortunately, I mentioned that it's not possible to export uh, an SRT file or a VTT file separately without rendering the video. It's possible. So uh, let's just look at it. I feel that the transcript is really, really good. It's just that when you look at the subtitles, either the text is too much uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, I wish it was doing, actually you'll now see uh, the red lines uh, recommending that you split. I wish that it would probably observe maybe the profile that you're using uh, and respect that. But it's it's really awesome. For example, in this one, there's too much text right inside here, not good for readability. But I got OpenAI's Whisper to work inside Subtitle Edit. I don't know exactly what happened, Probably it's the latest version of subtitle ERI 3.6.7 beta. Uh, but as I mentioned, I made sure that I downloaded and installed Python, installed pip, and then installed Whisper via command line. And you may need to install Git for Windows. All links will be in the description below for you to see. And also the link to the releases where you can go and download the beta version to test it out if it works out for you. Uh, hopefully it's going to do, uh, it's going to work as it has for me. So I'll probably also do a quick comparison video uh, of uh, maybe using the Whisper and also the VSK stroke Caldi models. Uh, we see the difference. Now, 
and probably the other thing is for example if you notice here is that it shows like it's still uh, processing now something else i've noticed is that if we go back to the folder with the uh with the beta version you'll notice that there are three files srt text document and vtt w the way whisper works is that it produces a text file an srt document and a vtt document so if i actually click on this this is the particular video that we were watching uh audio inside subtitle edit these are the subtitles for that the srt this is the text document so if you wanted the transcript it's already ready for you to actually just go on with it and then for the vtt it's available already for you so it's really awesome that it's doing all this in the background uh, without you knowing uh, so you may wonder what these files are uh, these are the files that have just been automatically generated once whisper finished automatically transcribing our audio into text and creating subtitles for us and that is why i was mentioning i hope nicolaj can look into this and probably create a transcription application that's free using whisper uh, and then you can also use it to translate uh, from that particular language that you transcribed into english so uh, that's it from me uh, my name is david and i hope this video probably is of value to you thank you so much for watching